Welcome to another Igloo Engine tutorial. This one is on drawing snowflakes in Illustrator. Um, the background here is just a gradient, a simple gradient. If you want to know the color values, I work in CMYK, so I've got 100% magenta, 100% yellow, the other two values are zero. And the darker red is 30, 100, 145. So I've got that in place, I'm going to lock it, Command 2. Now this is a snowflake we're going to create, but there's hundreds of different options. The same principles apply of getting it round in this even manner. So let's start by drawing one of these points. We're going to use the rectangle tool, shortcuts M, drag and hold and press shift to get an even square. We're going to make it a white square and we're going to go rotate the corner, hold shift, so it rotates it 45 degrees. Use the pen tool, P, hover over that bottom point and get rid of it. Don't need to, but it's just neat. Rectangle tool again, go to that point, drag across until it's the same width. It's important that it's the same width so it's nice and, nice and tight. Pathfinder, unite, and let's drag these bottom two down with the diagonal select A. Make it a bit smaller, again, drag these bottom two points down. And we'll start with that. So that's one of the, the shapes, the main one main arm of the snowflake. We're gonna with V, we're gonna drag holding Alt and Shift, which copies and pulls it down in the same spot. We're gonna make it bigger, holding Alt and Shift again. So about there, and drag this down. So the first arm's about there. Direct select with A in these bottom two and bring them back up. Otherwise, they'll start to get a bit too long. And do the same thing. So, Alt and Shift as you drag down. And again, hold this bottom one with Shift, make it bigger. So, we've got one, two, two stages. So, we've got one, two here. Drag these bottom two back up. And then we're going to do one more. Again, drag down, Alt and Shift and then make it bigger, so about there, right, that's fine, bring these back up. So then we're going to select this top one, and we're going to Command C, Command Shift V, which can copies and pastes in place, and we're going to rotate 45 degrees, if you hold Shift down, it'll rotate 45 degrees. Direct select with A, these bottom two points, and hold shift down again and it move the points up along the same line which is what we need. And zoom in a bit and shrink this down and hold it down and shift again. So let's see if that looks right. Yeah. And then we're gonna alt click and drag which copies and pastes. And this one sticks out a little bit more so let's stick that out. Grab those two points, hold and shift again. And it goes. Try and keep this sort of line going across here. There again, Alt, click and pull. Now we're going to make this one bigger to about there. Yeah, it's about right. And use the cursor keys and hold Shift to move if it's easier. And then the last one, we're going to drag out about there, make it bigger, put it to position, and there, yeah. Okay, so this bit's a bit of a mess down at the bottom, but it doesn't matter for this, so, so select your central column, drag it over, using shift and alt, and we'll keep it on for later. Select everything over here, and you might, and then press A, and drag your box over half of it, not including the top point, okay, so just everything on this half, not that top point, and delete it, alright, then with P, pen tool, we're going to click this one and hold in shift, which will make us draw a straight line, we're going to run it across until it intersects with that top point, and you can unite the two to the circle of this, so then press V and Alt and shift drag, 
couple it over. And you want the reflect tool, which might be under the rotate tool. So double click that. You want the vertical reflect. Okay. And drag it in until it snaps in. Okay. Now, it's starting to look good. So let's unite these. But let's make this shape here. So let's get rid of these bottom points and let's click that point there and using shift drag it down to the intersects and then you don't need to do anything else you can just get those two and press command J which joins them. Press P and get rid of that anchor point. And if you've got OCD like me you'll need to tidy things up. So there we go that's one shape. Now we're going to alt drag shift down to just about there. You can shrink this a bit and drag it down. Just cut out the line a bit there so it's done. There we go. Then let's use this one again, get it into the middle and bring it down a bit for the bottom line. That's roughly our shape. By all means, experiment, add swirls, add more details, add arms coming out of these, whatever you want. But those are our shapes. So let's unify all these. Shrink it down a bit. Now, let's draw a polygon. So under your rectangle tool, polygon will be there. Drag and pull using Alt and Shift. That will be there. And then let's move that to that central point there. So in it goes until it intersects. There we go. In fact, sorry. Drag it down a bit there. Yeah. Alt, Shift, drag the top shape. Rotate round, holding Shift so it's in 90 degrees. And drag him back up. Now rather than trying to line things up, because that one's at the top and that one's in a bit, we're just going to select that one, select that one, hold and shift, now we're going together. Press Command G, which groups them, drag over all three, and under your align settings, you want align to selection, do a horizontal and a vertical. There you go, it's done it. So then select just these two, and Command C, Command Shift V, paste it in place, and the rotate tool. And you want it on 60 degrees. Okay. Now a little shortcut here is Command C, Command Shift V, and then Command D. So that does what you just did before. And that, once you've dragged a cursor over all of it and united everything, is how you draw snowflakes. And then you can just drag them all over the page and make it look like Christmas. I hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.